Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Justin Gaethje and Conor McGregor. So here he is, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, the former two-division UFC champion, Conor McGregor, back in a mixed martial arts setting for the first time in a long time. Of course, many of you ingested his boxing match with Floyd Mayweather. Thankfully, all of that is in the past, and Conor McGregor's present is a return to the greatest proving ground in MMA here tonight. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage, his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular, he believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters, 29 years of age. McGregor will have a three inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Conor McGregor! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Lands a big right hand early. The left hook hits home. Oh, straight right. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. That kick! 
Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, connects there. And he's looking for that left. Oh, big shot by Connor. Also, he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Nice inside leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lead left by Connor. Lead kick is true there by Gaethje. Good body work with that hook by McGregor. Hard hook. Straight right hand now just misses. Kick lands for him there. And there he swung with the haymaker. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. And both guys really thrown with authority. Oh! This could be it! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, he missed that kick. Conor McGregor gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. Just out of range with that right hook. How about that shin? KG gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Back up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Switching stances here. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, he got caught again by another hook there. He's been connected with a few so far here in this round. Not sure how many more he can take. Exactly. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. McGregor gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. He's got double underhooks here. Pummels out of double underhooks here. He's got the double. That cut on his cheek is getting worse. Back to over under. McGregor's got double underhooks now. Pummels under, maintains the under. Well, he left his head open again there, Joe. He's gonna have to make some adjustments with his corner if we get to the next round. He continues to lean in and move into the strike of his opponent. Not a good look for him defensively here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by McGregor. Nice left hand. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Conor McGregor with some nasty body shots. That is spot on, Joe. Take down attempt late, and it's good. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Gets up again here, but hurting. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. 
Alright, here we go. Listen. You're doing absolutely awesome. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. sure the opponent really saw it coming so back to the drawing board for him but for the winner this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight and here we see the stunning knockout that crowned a new champion right when it lands the legs give out he goes limp and we have a new king here it is one more time bang And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now Ladies with the official decision. Referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout and been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.